Hello, my loves. I'm back. It's been a while. Long time no see. I've missed you. Link says he missed you too. For those of you that weren't aware, I went to Brazil for a few weeks with my mom to visit our family that lives down there and for vacation. In this video, I thought it might be fun to go through my suitcase, which I still need to unpack, and show y'all what I bought or received as gifts in Brazil, because I need to start going through this and putting things away. I found some pretty nifty things in Brazil, and I'm so excited to share them with you. Without further ado, let's unbox some Brazilian goodies. Let's see what's in here. Already cat hair in here. I did not let the cats in here. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But there's already cat hair. Oh, he's going. I can't. I can't even stop it. Let's start off with some very Brazilian beach stuff. I think because we were in such a time crunch, I didn't end up buying as much beach slash swimwear as I normally do. But I did get a few things. My cousin, Natasha, gifted me this cutesy bikini and it's beautiful and lime green. I have photos of me wearing this on my Instagram and y'all might want to check them out because look at this bad boy. <laughs> this is not something I would normally ever feel comfortable wearing. However, when in Brazil, this is the style, okay? They wear bikinis that are like little Bikini, Biki there. I don't know technically what bikini means, but they do wear um, swimsuit bottoms that show your butt. In the U.S., we're very closed off. We don't like people eyeing our goods, and so we cover that up. But in Brazil, this is honestly probably considered a very um, modest swimsuit. You could wear something much more risque than this. This was also a gift for my cousin. So it's a really cute beach cover-up. It's like a full dress, but it's a little bit see-through. You can wear your bikini, you know, whatever. People in Brazil don't care. If you wear your swimsuit and then wear a little cover-up or whatever, wear your swimsuit and wear shorts. Like, you can go eat at a restaurant and no one's gonna care. No one's gonna bat an eye. But this was really cute. I took pictures wearing this with a horse on the beach. Oh, Natasha also gifted me this little thing because apparently this is like in fashion in Brazil. You wear it like a little bandeau thing. Is that what they're called? You know, like a, you tie it like a little shirt. You can tie it however you want, but that's how she was wearing it. And then that's how I wore it one of the days over the top of my swimsuit. And it's just a cute thing. Apparently zebra is very in. I'm also not a fashionista. So when people tell me something's in, I'm like, oh, thank you for letting me know and giving me the thing so I don't have to try to figure it out on my own. Also, this thing that my mom bought for me on the beach it is, I'm assuming, something you could use as a sarong or you could lay it down on the sand and lay on top of it. I think it's beautiful. I didn't end up using it there because I actually think I want to put it up on a wall. I don't know. Maybe not. I know that you can kind of find things like this on Amazon, but this one has little balls on it. And then the last couple things I got are some, like beachy cover-up type things. So my very sweet cousin, who is my first cousin's son, gave this to me and it's a beautiful thingy, you know, the th you know what these are, right? And look how cool this is. It's got a really pretty pattern and it's a really pretty color. I like it. And then I also found this at a little fair, a little beach fair, and it's a skirt. So, well, I guess you can wear it in multiple different ways, but the easiest way is just a skirt. It has these things you can wrap around your waist. And it is these beautiful colors, and I got it before I even knew that my cousin was gifting me that neon green swimsuit that this went beautifully with. I think that was all my beachy stuff aside from sandals, which like when we get to shoes, there's gonna be a lot of them. So let's move on. Pajamas. I got a few pairs gifted to me. So my aunt, Eliani, gave me this cute one that has a little raccoon on it and little shorties. And these were very much appreciated because I only took one pair of pajamas with me and Brazil's hot and sweaty. So I was very grateful to have extra pajamas. And her daughter, my cousin Jamili, gave me this cute pair with kitties on it. And this pair was really helpful because for part of the trip, I went to Changhua, which is a city that is a bit cooler in the evenings. And this pair I have not worn yet. I found it at a store. Actually, my mom found it for me and was like, look, cats. And I was like, yeah, I want it. 
Look how cute these little geonies are. Look at a little cat print, a little cat face all over that. And cute little shorties to go with it. Adorbs. Brazil has some really great like hair care and skincare products, but I didn't really shop for that kind of stuff. I didn't really have time, but I was gifted some goodies from my cousin Rafaela and her daughter. This is the Native Spa Matcha. Uh, oh, it's in English too. Detox Exfoliating Liquid Soap. So I'm assuming this is for body and it has matcha in it which is amazing. I don't know if she knows that I'm very into matcha or if this is just really popular in Brazil, but I'm excited to try that. And then the other thing is a native spa acai nourishing body lotion. So I bet that's great too. Excited to try them. And then I bought some deodorant. They probably sell this at the store here and I just don't know, but in Brazil, they use a lot of these spray deodorants. They're really popular. They're way more popular than like the solid kind. I don't think I ever even saw the solid kind in any of the stores that we went to. This is what everybody uses over there. Different brands, but this one is Nivea. And the scent is coconut water. And I haven't actually tried it yet, but I can tell from this, it smells so good. It smells like, like not quite like sunscreen, more, more on the edible coconut, like coconut candy side of the coconut scented world. It smells so good. And these are like 48 hour antiperspirants. I try not to wear antiperspirants often because I know they're probably not that great for you. You're putting aluminum on your body right into your pores but sometimes I need it. When it's hot outside, I need it. When I have to work on set, I need it. So I bought two of these because they smelled really good and I didn't think I could find them here. So we will see. Next up, we have some jewelry. Some of this stuff was gifts. Some of it my mom bought for me, so I guess it was all gifts. <laughs> My cousin gave me some cutie little bracelets, my cousin Natasha, because apparently this is the kind of jewelry you're supposed to wear on the beach to look like a cool kid. So that's what I did. My uncle Joaquin gave me this freaking adorable bracelet. He got this at a shop that specializes in sterling silver. It is a, a cat, a heartbeat, and a heart. You guys, I love it so much. It's super cute and dainty. And yeah, sterling silver so I can wear it like in the shower and stuff. His daughter Jamili also gifted me like a really cute sterling silver necklace, which I've been wearing, so no, I don't know where it is. Here it is. It's cute. It's just like um simple and it's like really, not like a choker, but it's really high up on the neck and it's just got these little balls, but again, sterling silver so I can wear it in the shower and stuff. And I love very simple, cute things like this. I also stopped at a sterling silver shop myself when I was at a mall and I found these beautiful earrings and necklace that have a moonstone as the gem. Aren't they so pretty? I'm not exactly sure if it was really um, a much better price than what this would cost in the US. Oh, I got these earrings too that I'm wearing right now at the same store. So I got these sterling silver, just little swizzle earrings, these moonstone earrings and this moonstone necklace, and this is all sterling silver. And the total cost was, I think $85. I can't tell if that's a good price. These moonstones look like good size moonstones. I did not think that they were actual stones when we saw them in the store. I thought that it was resin, but I asked and they said, nope, they're, all of their stones are actual stones. So I think these are pretty decent sized moonstones and sterling silver for that price. I don't know, if someone out there is like a jewelry dealer, please leave me a comment below. Let me know, did I get swindled or did I get a steal? Another thing that Brazil has is gold plated jewelry. I know we have that here, but there it's very inexpensive. So I got a few things at the gold store. I got these cute hoops that are kind of big and luxurious. This pretty ring and some cutesy little studs because I do like very simple little earrings. 
And when I say this stuff was inexpensive, it was really inexpensive. Like a couple, a couple dollars, I think. Here's a good example. Okay, so I got this ring. It kind of looks like a wedding band. And I got it. I hope it fits. I didn't actually try it on at the store. <gasps> I think it will fit. I'm scared to put it on and get it stuck. But I bought it because sometimes on set, when I am acting as an actor, because that's what I do professionally, I have to be a married person. Usually wardrobe will have rings and they'll put a ring on me if I need to be wearing a ring. But I have like really small fingers and sometimes rings don't fit very well. And I found this and like, as you just saw, it almost got stuck. So I think it's gonna fit very well. And I have the price tag on this, so I haven't worn it yet. So let me tell you how much this was. Gold plated. $2.98. Not too shabby, am I right? I also was gifted a lot more jewelry and I don't know where it all is right now. So if you're watching this and you gifted me a jewelry, just know that I love it and I have it and I can't find it because I have been wearing it and now it's somewhere in my home. But thank you. I think the categories that I have left are shoes, clothes, and food. I'm gonna go through the food really quick now because I'm not going to go into detail about the food. I'm going to make another video where I taste test a bunch of stuff. So be on the lookout for that in the future. I brought a lot of snacks back with me. This probably made up the brunt of the weight in my suitcase. Let's start here. This was a bag of stuff I probably shouldn't have gotten because I'm certain it is all completely squished to crumbs at this point. But I got some different flavors of Cheetos and some little, I don't know, I'm assuming what we would consider like goldfish type crackers, but they're bacon flavor. Gluten and lactose free soy balls that are steak and bacon flavor. A box of Garoto chocolates, which this is everywhere in Brazil. These boxes of chocolate, they're everywhere. And they come with a smattering of like mini chocolate bars, like all these different kinds of flavors. I got lots of candy bars. This is one of my absolute favorites. I'll go ahead and try it right now. I'll give you a sneak peek of what the taste test is gonna be. This is called Caribe and it's filled with banana. Oh, I haven't had one of these in a long time either. I bought a lot. I bought a lot of them. So this is like candied banana inside. I guess that's what it is. And then it's covered in chocolate. It's so good. It's essentially this stuff, which is like like goyabada, if anybody knows what that is, that's like guava paste. This is banana paste. I found this, which is um, a Nestle powdered chocolate shake mix, but it's a limited edition flavor. It's the Prestigio, which is this super popular candy bar, and it's filled with coconut, kind of like an almond joy without the almonds, I think. Mounds? I don't know chocolate covered coconut and we have it in shake form. I also got a few bags of castanhas, which is cashews. These cashews don't have any seasoning or salt or anything on them. They've just been like roasted to get the shells off. And so they kind of have like burn marks on them and they taste roasted and they're so good. I also brought back one bottle of alcohol. This is not for me, this is a gift for a friend, but this is a cachaça, which is a very strong alcohol. It's 39%, kind of like whiskey, but it's made with cane sugar. Is that what they're called? Like the stalks of cane sugar? That's what um, cachaça is made from. And while yummy, it is not my beverage of choice because of the sugar content in this. And usually you mix this with something sugary as well, like fruit or fruit juice. And that mixture for me is not great. It's my body can't, I can't do it. I'm not as young as I used to be. This is a really popular brand of cachaça 
and this is a very fancy bottle of the brand of Cachaca, and so I grabbed this for a friend, and hopefully he will be able to enjoy it. For those of you that don't know, Havaianas, the sandals, are from Brazil. They're made in Brazil, right? I hope, I hope I'm telling you the truth. And I got a ton of them. I got a lot of them. I was gifted a lot of these from family because they knew that I was going to be going to the beach and stuff. So I got a lot of cute little Havaianas. The glitter stuff, I guess, is super in over there right now because the Havaiana stores had tons of glittery sandals. But they also have a lot of just like different unique designs. I don't know if Havaianas always has sneakers, but they had sneakers this time and I got a few pairs and I think they're really cool. So they're like a breathable sneaker. They have this mesh on the outside, but it's not too rough. On um, it's, it's rougher on the outside and it's smoother on the inside. And it has this cool color blocking. So this, this pair is blue. It has this cool yellow thing on the back and yellow sole. And they're cushioned inside. So they are like super soft and comfortable. They're so comfortable. They reminded me kind of of like little Converse. And so I thought that those would be cool. I also got them in this crazy color. Isn't that cool? Like teal and purpley pink. And same deal, they're super soft and cushioned inside. I was also gifted a lot of other cute sandals from family over there. These I found on my last day there and I think that they're so pretty. They're like this iridescent rainbow color and they like go around the ankle and I think they're super cute. And then I found some fancy shoes. And this is a big deal for me because I don't wear heels often. I would say I probably only wear heels for work when I need to because they're not comfortable to me. Heels are not comfortable. They hurt my feet. They result in my feet cramping up in the middle of the night. And I just try to avoid it at all costs. However, Brazil has very comfortable, very inexpensive heels. These are kind of messed up from the suitcase. Hopefully they'll go back to normal. But these I thought were like cute and kind of 50s looking. It's got like some cushioning inside and then the heel's not that big. And like this part is all very soft. It's cushioned back here too. So this is a pair that I thought was cute. This is a pair that I thought was cute. And this is a pair that I thought was cute. I got a chance to wear these in Brazil and they were very comfortable. So for us to just kind of get a sense of how much a pair of heels, like an, a pretty nice pair of heels, like built-in cushions and stuff is in Brazil. This was 150 real, which would be around $30. Not too bad, right? It's got grippies on the bottom. I don't know. I think that's pretty darn nice. I don't know where I would find a regular price pair of shoes that was $30 that had all the features that this pair has. Last pair of shoes. I think this is my favorite. These are from a little store that was in Changhua and they look like this. Aren't they cute? They're little gold heels and they have this like green blue color thing going on in the top. And then they wrap around your ankle and tie and they're just so like cute and colorful and elegant and not too high and I can actually walk in them. So these are cool. These were a little bit more, 200 real, so about 40 bucks. And last up are some clothes. I got some clothes. I think that one of my favorite things about going to other countries is finding cool and unique clothes. I got some cool jeans. I think I've spoken many times on this channel about how I'm always in search of like a cool pair of jeans that doesn't just look like a normal pair of jeans, has some sass to it, but also fits me well and looks good and is high-waisted. I found them. I found them in Brazil. So these are just like some cute high-waisted light wash jeans, but they're wide-legged. And so I think in one of my last videos, oh, and they're split on the, on the side of the leg. I forgot about that. I think in one of my last videos, I tried on some American Eagle 
skater jeans and they were destroyed and like they were kind of cute but they weren't quite what I was looking for so I returned them. This is what I was looking for. Not destroyed, actual high waist and like the bottom part of the leg is just interesting. Like they're really like stylized and cute. So um, maybe I'll try those on a little bit and show you. I also found this cool jumpsuit at the store called Henna. It's apparently a really popular store in Brazil. We went to them both in Rio and in Fortaleza. And look at this sassy jumpsuit. It's a white jean or like a cream jean material. And it has like this cool kid collar and these little cap sleeves that have like a little detail. And it's like a full on cute jumpsuit. This was super cool. I know that these are really in fashion right now and so I was excited to find one that was kind of different and fit me really well. This is a fancy dress. My mom bought this for me and I told her it was probably too much money, but she did it anyways. And I think it was too much money. But you guys, I thought it was really cute. It's so wrinkled right now, so it probably doesn't look as cute as it did on the mannequin. Just imagine it on a mannequin. It is this cute velvet dress and it smells like patchouli and it reminds me of the 60s. <laughs> so maybe I'll try this one on too, although it's so wrinkled, it's not gonna look as good and you guys are gonna make fun of me for spending as much as we did on this. It was like 850 real, which is like $165. <gasps> Definitely the most expensive thing that I bought in Brazil. Probably wasn't worth it. Oh, I bought this at the beach, I forgot. It's just like a really simple, cute little tank and it says Fortaleza on it. This is definitely like a shirt for tourists, but I was a tourist and I thought it was cute, so I got it. I have a few more things from that henna store. This cute little crop top t-shirt that has stylized bananas all over it. These super cute palazzo pants, which I wore and they looked amazing on. And they're like a nice linen material. And again, with the, the bananas. I got this cute little shirt. Maybe I'll try this on with the jeans because it looks way cuter on. So this was only 12 bucks for this cute little shirt. It's like a crop top with fluttery sleeves. Kind of reminds me of the kind of shirts that Britney Spears likes to wear. I got this at the same little store. Again, it's a cute little crop top and it has parrot details on the front. And this is from Henna too. And it's a cute little jumpsuit that also has parrots, has parrots on it, parrot print. And it's like this linen, it's like a blue linen. And yeah, I also got this cute little dress, which I wore while I was over there. And although it's very cute, it wrinkles really bad. So it's just this like very simple dress. It's very um, lightweight and breathable and long and cute and flowy. And it was perfect for my trip. The last bit of clothes that I got is from this store called Farm, and I really like them. They're really expensive, but they have cute stuff. I only got a few things because it was so expensive, but they were doing a buy two, get one free sale. I got this cute little crop top, again with the crop tops, baby. And it has puffy sleeves, kind of puffy sleeves, and parrots, right? Birds, parrots. I think it's parrots, but it's super like colorful and cool, I love it. And I wore it with this skirt, even though I normally would not do this because it's like two kind of different patterns. But my mom told me I should and I did and I'm glad I did because they were doing a party that was in the style of Saint Joan, which is like a festival where everything's really colorful and kind of like farm-ish. So it worked using the brand farm. But look at this beautiful skirt. It's kind of like silky. I don't know, it's not actually silk, but Look at how beautiful. It's just like all these flowers and different colors. The last thing I got from Farm are these pants that are super popular right now in Brazil. Everybody was wearing them and I was like, I need a pair of those. They're probably popular in the US too. I just haven't been paying attention. But they're just like little linen pants. They're high-waisted and these look very tiny. I hope they actually fit me. They have um, kind of like 
pleating, a little bit of pleating and they're a nice length and these ones are just like a really nice pretty green. I feel like they'll go with a lot of things. That's all my Brazil stuff. What do y'all say we do a mini fashion show? So here is that little cute top and the cool jeans. Here's this super cute little top, another little crop top, and it works well with these high waist jeans. This is the super cute little top from Farm. Here is this cute little jumpsuit from Henna. Here is the cute little dress that probably cost way too much and I'm feeling you guys aren't gonna think it's as cute as I think it is but listen if you could smell it <laughs> I really feel like the patchouli sells it I knew I might have made a mistake when someone told me that I looked like Anna from Frozen I don't care what any of y'all say I love it and it has pockets and it's comfy and soft and flattering and smells good. Last up is this Mega Babe jumpsuit. Hello. I feel like Elvis Presley. <laughs> I feel like I'm really timid and so Getting stuff like this um, is out of my comfort zone, but also I just think it's so cute. And I might as well be wearing cute clothes because you only get one life to live, right? I don't know where I'll wear this to. I don't think like grocery shopping is appropriate, right? All right, y'all, that is it for now from me. Thanks so much for joining me as I shared my Brazil finds. I hope that I will see you again very soon. Have a wonderful day. Ciao.